Well, it's 20 past nine, and in 10 minutes' time, this uh, toilet tax uh, petition is due to be handed over. Yet here we are at the entrance to the House of Keys in Timwald, and there's more media here than any protesters at the moment. Is this what it's down to these days, maybe? People just clicking on a form online, but will they actually turn up to show that they're against this tax? We'll see over the next few minutes. Dis disappointed with that turnout here? No, not really. 6,000 people have signed a petition. It doesn't matter if many people turn up and the MHK is taking a notice of protests anyway. But I can't see them ignoring a 6,000 signature petition. They'd be fools if they didn't. The whole issue of structure of government has got to be put out in public arena. The people of Isle of Man and myself are really angry over it. And it's time that issue was addressed. And this petition is could be the first of many. Yeah. Amy, are you disappointed with the turnout here today? Not really, no, because we've got 6,314 people signed a petition and that's what I'm here for, to speak for the people. But don't you think you need this moment when people are here and voice their opinion? Like but this? everybody's got to work to pay these taxes. <laughs> you've got 6,000 plus people here uh, signed this petition. You've got about 16 people actually come to, to voice their approval. What do you expect? <laughs> Mr. Bell, do you want to say anything about this while we're at it, the toilet, the toilet tax and, and the, this, this uh, petition that's being handed over? You've got a queue already, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> Have you met, by the way? Um, yes, yeah. yes, we know very well, yes. <laughs> uh, your, your views on this? Well, it's entirely understandable that people uh, object to any new charges which we bring in, whether they're taxes or charges, as the uh, surge taxes. But we need to recognise that uh, uh, government, as I've said on many, many times, is in a very difficult position financially, and we have to make these hard decisions. Okay. What will you do with the response to this petition? Well, there's a debate later on today. We'll have to see. You, you've received this. What happens now? Uh, an online petition has taken place. 6,300 people have recorded uh, their, their views on this petition. I take it inside, and then that petition becomes a Tim World petition in the name of Amy Burns. Only one signature, but she's recording that this happened, and she's asking on behalf of those 6,300 people for us to uh, not introduce the sewerage charge. Now, just explain for everyone, though, it's, isn't this sewerage charge part of the budget, which you have to vote yes or no for the whole thing? Of, uh, is that correct? Yes, we have to vote yes or no to the whole budget. Yeah. Um, in the olden days, people could amend, the, try to amend the budget. That's got out of fashion over the last 20 years. So therefore, it's yes or no to the whole budget, and it will include this sewerage charge. If subsequently uh, we vote against the sewerage charge, um, we'll then have to pick up the pieces because part of the budget won't be there. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm trying to get around because the budget's first, isn't it? And then you debate this after, is that correct? I, I'm sure the intention when this uh, law was being drafted was that the reason why the 31st of January deadline was put in was to encourage that sort of uh, issue to have been uh, addressed before. But in essence, the, the Treasury Minister is trying to balance the budgets and he's had to bring forward this charge. We all know that. We all know it's unfair because everybody said they prefer to bring in a fair charge. In my view, we're not financially bankrupt. There are enough reserves in the Water and Sewerage Authority. We've got enough uh, spare. We're not bankrupt. We're nowhere near bankrupt. But this is a morally bankrupt charge, morally bankrupt tax, and the, any um, good politician shouldn't be um, voting for that. I put it to you, though, anyone could just tick a box on an online petition, which is what's happened. You've got 6,000 people. But here today, what, a dozen? It's an online petition, and uh, you, you know we've discussed um, social media before on, on your programme, and uh, so be it. It's, uh, there are issues with e-petitions, there are issues with normal petitions on the Hill, there are issues with people signing petitions. What we need to do is modernise um, and, uh, and, and review the, the, those points, and that's why I put the other motion down, which is I want to this whole process of petitioning referred to the Standing Orders Committee so that the points you're making can be considered properly, and then perhaps um, Standing Orders Committee will come back with, with revised regulations dealing with those points. But to be, to be fair, um, I, as I understand it, we have just as much as we have with a written signature. Um, I checked that out myself. And we have the IP address and we have a name and we have ways to identify it. Um, if you go back 100 years, even at that time, when, we, when people who were complaining against an unfair tax actually sent off a petition to Westminster, they had to take off some names, and, and, and so be it. You know, it doesn't matter whether it's 6,300, 6,000 or 6,600, because some people have signed this Mr and Mrs. The point is the people have um, taken the trouble to sign it. I'm absolutely sure it's not a fake uh, number of people, the number of emails and phone calls I've had in the last couple of weeks.
But it was basically, do you want to pay more tax or not? I mean, it wasn't a difficult one to tick, is it, really? Um, that's not the point. The point is how we go about paying tax. People are not stupid. People can engage. They understand we've got a financial crisis, but bringing in an unfair charge is not the way to deal with our financial crisis. We, uh, we, should have, we, we need public revenue raising considered on an overall basis, and I'll be moving a motion in, um, in March or April to that effect. We need a review, a public inquiry, with independent people of the whole basis of public revenue raising, charges, indirect taxation itself even.